YouTube, Bandana Grandma here. Welcome to my kitchen once again. It's Monday, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That means it's time for my live stream and I'm welcoming everybody into my kitchen. Today, I am going to be opening some boxes that came to me from Canada. And we're gonna see what in the world was sent to me in boxes from Canada. We're also going to be seeing some more free food I got and a recipe I've come up with to make with that. Uh, kind of an intro to a new segment I'm going to be presenting called making something from nothing or making something from near nothing, you know. So that might be interesting to you. We're going to look at some more of my crafts, see some things that are ready to go out in the mail that were ordered and uh, see a super big yarn haul I did. Yes, another one. I know I just showed you one, but I actually underestimated some of the colors I was going to need from the ponchos and I had to go back and get more and they had a sale and I went a little crazy again. <laughs> so who else in here? I got to get a little closer to see. Sister, my sister Jody. Welcome sister Jody. Hello Darlene. Hello Linda and hello Buckeye Girl One. Good to see you all here. So it's been a busy morning getting ready for the live stream. And I usually don't have my grandson Jeffrey on Mondays, which is why I do my live streams on Monday. So I have a little extra time. Hello, Julie. And today Heidi needed me to watch him. She had a dental appointment. So he's here. And my husband was supposed to be helping with him, but Jeffrey went down for a nap and he's sound asleep now. So my husband thought, you don't need me. So he went to get some, a few groceries or were low on and hopefully Jeffrey won't wake up while he's gone or, or I'll be having to bring him out here in the live stream. We just had a one year old birthday party. Hello, Heather, for Jeffrey. It was a lot of fun. Uh, he won't be one actually until the 8th. But I can't believe how fast time has flown with this little guy. Uh, let's see, who's that? Come back here. Alicia. Hello, Alicia. So, yes, we had the birthday party yesterday. It was held at a local gardening firm called Homestead Gardens. And some family, a family member works there. So uh, we had a party there in their farmette area. They got an area with animals and whatnot and a big, like, tent pavilion and it was very nice uh, my daughter decorated it so cute we got some pictures i'll probably post some later today or tomorrow about what fun we had at the party and he had a good time he got a little overwhelmed toward the end but he's only a year old so you got to figure that's going to happen hi Teresa. so glad to have you here good good all right so the first thing i'm going to show you is the free food. Now, if you've watched me on Mondays before, you know that sometimes on Sunday, a friend nearby is blessed by the church with a bunch of free food from grocery stores where they have these gleaners that go around and they take the food that grocery stores might be getting ready to get rid of. And there's nothing wrong with it. I mean, the bananas might be a little less than perfect. It's a little bit ugly, some of it but most of it is just close to the expiration date and they got more coming in or some of it's not any, anywhere near the expiration date and they're just turning over stock or something. So uh, when they have a whole lot extra after they've given it to the um, uh, ministries and the uh, shelters and things like that and that their cupboards are full, then they also bless some church members with it and they know I have a big family and then I can and I cook and so they bless me sometimes. And this time... I'll show you what they brought me and I'll have you guess. I'm actually going to take the camera out of the tripod to bring it over there. There we go. Okay. And I'm going to turn the camera around. All right. Now this is one of the boxes they brought me and you can see it is loaded and I've already taken some out. It is loaded with bread and bananas. Now this one's a little worse for wear, but the rest weren't bad at all. I've already got lots of bananas frozen in my freezer because I like to make these uh, diet shakes with them. So I thought today, all right, what am I going to do with all these bread and bananas? So can anybody guess? 
I'm going to let you guess before I show you the recipe I'm making today. You can make Johanna ice cream with them too. That's right, and Yonana. That's right. My sister Jody gave me. Oh, I only have. Oh, wait, wait. I gotta go up to Melissa. She's only got seven minutes, but wanted to jump in and send love. Oh, okay. You know what? Maybe because Melissa's here, I'll open the boxes first because they are from Melissa. <laughs> so I'll see if I can get them open first, rather than do the recipe, and then we'll go back to that. <sighs> All right. I'm gonna turn this back around, and we're gonna. Come back down here to the boxes, and I'm going to open these boxes. Now, a little bit of history. Melissa Archbold, who you see in here, has a channel on, with her own name. And it's a lovely family channel. Her husband has one of my favorite channels ever called Curiosity Incorporated. And he has an antique store, and he goes picking. And they also bought this house that was loaded with antiques and uh well unfortunately a lot of junk that he bought the whole house and cleared it out revamped it and also paid nice homage to the 104 year old lady who used to live in it uh because she was a potter and he, so they called it the potter's house anyway go look at that channel curiosity incorporated it's a great channel and they uh do lots of nice things for a lot of people so she had a little giveaway on her channel where she had these little, I forget what you call them, Melissa Squidgets or something, a little stuffed toy. And I won one. And so she said, I put it in the box and I sent it to you. And then she said, and I tucked in a little something extra. Well, that was in August. And I waited and waited and waited and no box. And I had to tell Melissa, no box, Melissa. So a few days ago, she tells me, all right, I sent out another box. I already told her, you know, don't worry about it. You know, it, I know it's a little, really expensive to send stuff from Canada. So a few days ago, she says, I sent another box out. Well, lo and behold, my husband checks the mail a couple days ago, and both boxes are there. They both, I don't know if this one triggered the release of the first one or what happened, but I got them both. So they may be the same thing. I don't know. But here comes the first box. Uh, she put a little card in, little paper anyway. Oh, wait a minute. That's the second one. So I got to open this one first. <laughs> That's, she's only got probably four minutes left. She said she had to leave in seven minutes. Come on, box. There we go. And it's a little thank you card. Thank you for helping my channel and being such a wonderful friend. All right, I'd love to read this. I am sending you the remainder of the squidlets if you don't mind spreading the happiness. Oh, that's so nice. I'm not gonna read it all because she's leaving and I wanna get to the package. I'm gonna read it later. Look how nicely packed this is. Okay, here's the squidgets. Oh, they're so cute. It looks like, I don't know, somebody, these are crocheted. Look at these adorable things. They look like little Pac-Man almost. But they got little button eyes. So I'll save them for when Jer Jeffrey can play with them. Of course, little babies under three can't have anything with small eyes like that. But they would look cute in his room. Look at them all. I can't believe she sent so many. Thank you, Melissa. These are adorable. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> and they're all crocheted. So cute. Okay, what else is in here? Lavender and peppermint. What is it? Soy essential oils. It's a candle. It's a candle. Oh, how lovely. Let me smell. I love lavender. You probably didn't know that, but I adore lavender. Thank you, Melissa. How sweet and thoughtful. Oh, this looks like homemade jam. I believe now she did tell me she tucked in some jam. Oh, let's see. Choke cherry almond. Okay, it's kind of a syrupy jam. I think she said you could use that on pancakes and stuff. That is such a nice gift. I'm rushing because she's leaving. <gasps> Look at this, the Canadian cup. Oh, Melissa, I love it. I love it. And I love that you thought so much of me that you would send this to me just for no reason except she says she loves my channel and I'm always so thankful for that. Thank you, Melissa. I love everything in here. The candles and mugs, and, oh, it's so sweet. 
Okay, and I feel badly that she had to pay a lot of money to ship this, and then she, because I didn't get it, she shipped me another one. It made me feel sad. Oh, this is different. Okay, we have <laughs> treats. We have ketchup chips. Okay, potato chips. We have hickory sticks. Julienne's. I guess these are Canadian treats. We have Smarties. And they're not like the... They're loose in here. These kind of Smarty candies. Kit Kat bar. Coffee crisp. These are great. Mr. Big. Chocolate. Mmm. <laughs> Another little squidget thingy. <laughs> okay, what? Oh! Oh, <laughs> so this is too funny. From Canada, a dancing, a dancing move. <laughs> Jeffrey's gonna love that. <laughs> I can play with it with him. I can see Grandpa playing with it. Oh, it's so cute. Thank you. Oh, so fun. Okay, arrow. I've never had that before. Source cocoa. So this arrow. Wonder bar. From Cadbury. Oh my goodness, look at all this stuff. Nestle Big Turk Turkish Delight Bar. Melissa, you are just up. Oh, a Canadian pen with a maple leaf. <laughs> that is so nice. And some more smarty things and little candies here. What are these? Whoops. All right. Uh, Macintosh. I don't know what's in them, if they're apple flavored or what, but we'll find out. Melissa, this is, like, too good to be true. Thank you so much for thinking of me. I, I can't believe my subscribers would do this. She is so sweet anyway. I shouldn't have been surprised, I guess. But let me turn this around. Thank you, Melissa. Such a treat. My husband's going to get into that candy real quick, I can tell you that. He's got a real sweet tooth. So I'm probably going to hide a few <laughs> for me. <laughs> But I love the candles. I love everything. Thank you so much, hon. What a sweetheart. Okay. We love you. I'm so glad I caught you live. I am too. I was I was going to do it today, so hoping you'd be here. I'm glad that I could get it in before you had to leave. All right. Thank you, sweetheart. They're a wonderful couple. Go watch their channels. Melissa Archbold, A-R-C-H-B-O-L-D, like she had it here. And Curiosity Incorporated. They, they have like 250,000 subscribers because their content is so good. They're, they're great channels. Okay. If I calm down a little bit. Oops, I'm going to hit my microphone. Okay, calm down, Sue. Chill out. <laughs> okay, who's saying hi there? Bandana Grandma. Gossmania. Hello. Out of Goshen. Hello, out of Goshen. Glad you are here. Uh... Duncan1900, one of my moderators are here. Thank you, Brenda. Those are really good Macintosh caramel. Oh, okay. Thank you. Um, Alicia is also from Canada. All right. Who else didn't I say hello to? I guess I said hello to everybody. If not, community. Oh, along the River Homestead. <laughs> she's, uh, she's from up where I grew up, upstate New York. Buckeye girl, I said hello to Heather Russo. Did, I think I said hello to Heather. Alrighty. Squidlets, that's it. Squidlets. <laughs> All right. Yeah, Out of Goshen, another wonderful channel. Bunch of kids. They're all so talented and interesting to watch. <laughs> okay. And Teresa, you got it. Banana bread pudding. That's what I'm going to make. Not banana bread, but banana bread pudding. All right. Back it up a little bit. Um, our family has a recipe that we always use called pineapple dressing. And it's a pineapple bread pudding. I, it came, it started, we started using it back in the 70s. Uh, actually, my mother's pastor used to make it. I'm a single guy. <laughs> and he shared the recipe and we've been making it ever since. And we always serve it with ham, and it's always wonderful. And I serve it at Easter. Well, my family got so enamored with it that they wanted me to serve it every single holiday. 
And when Thanksgiving came, I refused. I said, you know, at Thanksgiving, you cook things the pilgrims had. You cook the turkey and the sweet potatoes and the corn and like that. And the pilgrims did not have pineapple, <laughs> so I wouldn't cook it. Well, then my daughter made it, and she said, we're having it. So she made it. And then one year, my husband made it, and he said, we're having it, and he made it. So every year, we get we have pineapple dressing at Thanksgiving anyway. We have it at Christmas. We have it at Easter, any major holidays. If my daughter or my husband is invited to a party and they're supposed to bring a dish, they bring the pineapple dressing. Well, this is going to be similar, but it's going to be banana bread dressing, like a banana dressing. And... We're going to see how this goes. I've not made it before, so I'm hoping it tastes as good. Now, when I make the pineapple dressing, I put in whole cans of pineapple and juice, so there's a lot of liquid in it. Of course, bananas don't have that liquid, so I'm going to be adding milk, and we'll see how it goes. So here we go. I'm going to do that next, is make the banana bread. If I, if I wasn't talking, I'd be munching on that candy. <laughs> I could make the banana bread pudding. So I'm moving the camera over here. You know what? I didn't turn the lights on. I'm going to turn the camera down, and then I'm going to turn the lights on to make it easier for you to see. I think I have everything pretty well set with my ingredients. I tried to plan ahead here. All right, there's some lights. There's some more lights. Hopefully that helps. Alrighty, the first thing I am going to do is grease this casserole dish. I am doubling a recipe. This should make four quarts. Let me check it again when I get back over there. I'm getting the, I'm getting the butter out of the fridge because I forgot to get the greasing butter out because I need to grease that casserole dish. Of course, you can grease it with whatever type of fat you want to use. If you want olive oil or something like that, go for it. But I'm using good old butter. Now usually I get comments on this casserole dish, so I'll tell you right off the bat. This came to one of our trips up in Lancaster, Pennsylvania at the Rockville Shopping Center in Amish country up there. They have a QVC outlet. And QVC sells this Temptation Bakeware. They got all kinds of beautiful stuff in Temptation's Bakeware. Well, I won't pay the prices on the QVC channel, but when I go to Lancaster, I go to the QVC outlet, and you can get things greatly discounted there. And that's what this was. And it wasn't just this. It has a plastic lid that goes on. It has a ceramic uh, lid that goes on. It has a metal trivet that goes underneath it with handles. You can carry it around. I can't remember what I paid for it, but it was probably a third of the price that they asked for online or on, on the TV show. Okay, now it is greased. Place the bread cubes in a greased two-quart casserole. I'm doubling it, so this is bigger than a two-quart. And I'm going to do that. And this is eight cups of some of that French bread. I think it's a little shy of eight cups, so I'm going to get another one out and cut a little bit more up to put in here. Now, if my daughter was here, I would ask her to read me the comments while I was working, and then I could answer questions and... See what you're all saying, but I'll just have to take little breaks as I go and check the comments. Now these are supposed to be one inch cubes. Estimating. Close enough. I'm hearing noises. It might be Jeffrey waking up. <laughs> I may or may not be able to make this on my live stream. All right, I'm going to go 
I'm going to have to go check his monitor. It's out in the other room. I'll bring it out here so I can look at it while I'm cooking. But sometimes he kicks the side of his playpen, or his, uh, what do you call those crib things? Pack and play in the bedroom, and it taps the wall, and that seems to be what I'm hearing. All right. We're going to call that eight cups of one-inch bread cubes. Let me just go get his... Go take a look at the camera, make sure my Jeffrey's okay, and then I'll continue. I don't know if you can see that, but the little stinker's awake. He's awake. Hey, Jeffrey. <laughs> so I'm going to give him, if he starts complaining, I'll go get him. I can hear him. He's kind of talking to himself. He didn't sleep all that long. All right, I'm going to keep that right here and watch him. And if he's unhappy, I'm going to have to go get him. All right, I'll check your comments. Seems, seems like you're all talking to each other. That's wonderful. If you see a channel you think you'd love, you might as well check it out. Yep, not far from Saratoga Springs. We grew up not far from there, too. Thank you, Alicia, for asking to click the like button. Ooh, Brenda's highly allergic to bananas. You wouldn't like this recipe, then, or it wouldn't like you. You like my dish dish, not fish. <laughs> yes, he is up. Yes, he, oh, now he's standing up, a little stinker. All right, I'm going to try and continue, but we may end up visiting while I hold Jeffrey, because he was a little crabby this morning. He isn't usually, but he might be getting a little sniffles, or it could be his party was a little too much for him yesterday. He did have really sweet stuff, like a little smush cake, all for him that he isn't used to, because he doesn't usually get much sugar. All right, so now we're going to put together the batter for this. And I'm going to take six eggs. And these eggs, were given to me last week, the brown ones anyway, from the same people. So this is another part of the free part of the food. One, two, three. And I realize that you all don't get free food given to you, but what I'm really trying to say is when you've got stale bread and bananas that, you know, people aren't going to eat, two, three, four, five, six, you figure out a recipe you can use that's delicious. I'm probably going to freeze this for our Christmas dinner. I mean, our sorry, my Christmas breakfast, part of our Christmas breakfast. All right, I'm beating up six eggs. A little bit. I have half a cup of butter here, melted. But that's not going to go in next because that would scramble the eggs because it's still warm. So I'm going to add four cups of whole milk. Now, this again, this recipe is doubled. I didn't have whole milk because we don't usually buy whole milk. So I have a mixture of a half a can of evaporated milk, a bunch of 2% milk, 
and a little bit of half and half mixed in here. Tell you what, I'm going to have a little trivia contest here. The first one I see who puts up the right answer is going to win a bandana grandma coffee mug. All right, you ready for this? Sometimes I pull these little surprises. Bandana grandma coffee mug. First one who comes up with the right answer on my screen. It may not be on your screen because your answer is going to come up closer to the top on your own screen or somebody else's might. But it has to be what's first on my screen. And the question is, what does bandana grandma always say about not having what you need? And whoever gets it closest to what I really say, I think it's 11 words. No, 12 words. Okay, let's see who can come up closest to what I always say. If you watch my videos, I say it a lot. I'll be cooking and I'll say, well, I don't have that, so I'll use this. And then I say, you know what Bandana Grandma always says, and then I'll say it. So, all right, I'll check that in a bit. Now, I'm going to add butter because now it's cooled down from the milk and it's not going to scramble the eggs. Okay, now what I should have done is probably cream the sugar with the uh, butter first, but I didn't, so I'm just going to put in the sugar now. That's a cup of sugar. And I want to mix that enough to dissolve the sugar pretty much. It would have been better to put it in with the warm, warm butter first. All right, now we are going to add four teaspoons of vanilla extract. And on here I have one teaspoon of cinnamon, one teaspoon of nutmeg, and a teaspoon of salt. And that's all going in. So we're going to mix that up. This isn't a hard recipe. We're just going to pour it all over the bread. Now, let me read it through, make sure I got everything in it. Bread, butter, eggs, milk, sugar, vanilla, cinnamon, nutmeg, salt. <laughs> you know what I forgot, don't you? Only the main ingredient. My bananas! <laughs> so, two cups of but, or, excuse me, I think it's, uh, yeah, two cups of bananas cut into quarter inch pieces, kind of small bite sized pieces. Okay, there go the bananas. I hear you, Jeffy. He's going to start complaining, I think, just in time for me to pour this over. And then I could put it in the oven and maybe go get our boy. All right, here we go. Banana bread pudding. Not banana bread, but banana bread pudding. <laughs> and I'll use a spatula to get all the goodness out. Okay. Yeah, he's starting to complain a little bit. So I'm going to have to get him. Alrighty, I'm pushing it down so the top of them get wet too, to get flavor through. I think I'll stir it up a little bit so they all get saturated. 
and it's going to soak up all that goodness. You can put nuts in this if you wanted to. You could put raisins in it if you wanted to. Or those cranberry raisin things. Okay, my oven is preheated to 375. And this is going in to bake for about 40 minutes. Now it's bigger, so it might take longer because the 40 minutes was for half size of this. Into the oven it goes. And I'll set it for 40 and then check it. There. All right, I need to wash my hands. My microphone lets me. Something else I was going to show you was uh, I also got a package of strawberries. And a little tip I wanted to give you if you didn't know was when, straw when you get strawberries, wash them off with vinegar and water solution before you put them in the fridge and drain them and dry them. And they'll last a whole lot longer than if you just stick them in as they are from the store. You know how quickly strawberries go bad. Well, that really helps extend the life of them. So, right, I'm going to take them out, put them back in the package and let them drain and then I'll dry them off later. All right, Jeffrey is sitting up. He's not complaining. But he doesn't have any toys in there. I'd love to see him put his head down and sleep some more because he didn't sleep that long. So I'm debating should I go in and get him or not. As long as he's not complaining. He might put his head down again. He's the cutest little darling. Hmm. He's shaking his head no. Can you hear me, Jeffrey? He's shaking his head no. All right. I think I'm going to go ahead and get him. And we'll see what we can do with him held. And if he complains a lot, I'm going to have to sign off. All right. I'm going to go down there and get them. I'm taking my microphone off. This is live. <laughs> Didn't expect this to happen. Where's my Jeffrey? Where's my baby? Am I here, my dear Jeffrey? Is him awake? Where's my boy? Where's my boy? <gasps> Friends are watching you. Some friends are watching you. Did you have a little nap? Did you? Say, my birthday is in a couple of days. I'm going to be one year old. And I'm such a good boy. And I'm walking. And I'm waving bye bye. And I'm giving mwah kisses. Kiss, kiss. Huh? And I like necklaces. Right? You like necklaces? Yeah. All right. I'm going to have to get you out of this sleeper thing you're wearing. <laughs> All right. I'll turn the camera around and check your comments. That's close, Jody. Jody's, all right, I'm going to go through these later and figure out who, who uh, actually got it down the closest. <laughs> Whoa, Jeffrey. <laughs> all 
Okay. I'm going to get him out of his little sleepy thing. I got the microphone hanging on the tripod. Oh, there. Shall we get you out of your little zippy zip? Your little sleepy zippy zip? Yeah. You like my necklace? That came, that came from Aunt Jody. My sister sells paparazzi jewelry. I should have a link below. Jeffrey likes it, don't you? <laughs> yeah, you like it. Everything is only $5. This was $5. Plus you get free earrings. This was $5. She has really nice stuff that's very reasonable and affordable. Okay, Jeffrey, what are we going to do with you? If I put you in the playpen, you're going to yell? Probably. If I put you in the playpen, I could show our friends some of the stuff I had ready to show them. You gonna let me do that? You say, Grandpa, you better get back here and take care of me. Yeah, Grandpa's gonna take you for a walk when he comes back. Grandpa walks with Jeffrey every day. Every day that there's good weather, he takes him out for an hour walk with the carriage. Right? Jeffrey loves his Grandpa, don't you? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to try and put you in the playpen and see if you squawk. If you do, I might just have to sign off. Let's see. <laughs> Say hi, everybody. All right, there's your playpen. We're going to go over there and see if you want to stay in there and play with your toys. Want to play with your toys? Play, play, play. Ooh, good boy. Good boy. Here's your favorite rattles. And if you see Alicia on there, this is Jeffrey's favorite rattle, and I bought it from Alicia's $5 find site. So you want to check out her site? You can get that rattle there. It's Jeffrey's favorite. Here's your rattle. Okay. Looks like he's going to be happy for a little while. So we'll give it a try. All right, any more comments I need to see? Sweet Jeffrey, yes he is, he's just a love. <sighs> Hi, Laura. Yep, apples and nuts would be awesome. I hear voices, maybe it's Grandpa. It's Mommy, Mommy and Daddy. Oh, no, Mommy and Grandpa are here. Okay, so I'm gonna be able to continue. His mom and my husband are both coming in. Where's my, here comes mommy. Jeffrey, here comes mommy. We are live. We are live with a little guest here in the playpen. Hi, <laughs> snuggle bug. Who was that? Hi, snuggle bug. That was daddy. Did what? you just make a noise? No. Oh. Somebody yelling outside. How long did you sleep, little peanut? Couldn't have been that long. An hour, maybe? Maybe? Maybe not. I wouldn't grab too long. Yeah. Okay. I just want to grab. All right. So, you had a lot of work done on your teeth. Are you sore? Or are you still numb? I'm gonna be. You're gonna be. It's warm in here. Okay. Yay. He sees mommy. He's mommy. Oh, you're stinky. Is he stinky? He just got up. I just carried him out here. I brought this with me. Okay. She's just in time to change a stinky diaper. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty. Let me show you what I'm doing here. Yeah. Okay. This poncho is ready to go. And I've I've uh, finished it and it's going to go in a box and get mailed off probably later this week. And I'm going to take you back and show you my yarn haul. Yarn haul. Now, if you watched last time, you saw a similar state. This is not that same yarn. This is new yarn. What happened was I was making my ponchos. Now, this is the second of the three orders I got. 
first one's out there folded up. This one I'm working on for this poncho for the second order. And I had misjudged because I had made two full panels, started the third, four panels in each poncho. And I got this far and realized I was just about out of green. So I had to go buy more green. Yeah, I, I got that much and plus more a couple weeks ago too. <laughs> anyway, I had to go get more green. And uh, when I was there, I saw they were having a big sale. So I ended up getting plenty to make more ponchos. And before I got the yarn, all I had was these colors. So I said, well, I'll make this one. And then I started the fourth one and I got this far because I didn't have the green. And then I have another poncho order, a third one, same colors. And I thought, well, I might as well start that one until I get the green. So I got these two done for the third poncho that I'll be getting to. See, that's the center here of that square. So I did get the green yarn. I finished up all four of the squares, the panels. Then I sewed them together here and I started adding a hood. I've gotten this far on the hood. And after the hood is done, I will put several rows of trim around the bottom, including an eyelet trim, where I will tie in, uh, I will make and tie in tassel fringe all the way around. And then this one will be done. And I'm gonna make a label, a bandana grandma label to put inside the neck here. And when that one's done and mailed off, then I continue on this one and make one just like it. So yeah, I have orders for three of these ponchos. I've got two up on my Etsy store, one in a navy or in a uh, denim color and one purple. They're up on my Etsy store. Links for that are below too. And this yarn I got, these right here you'll recognize all up here. This is for those ponchos the gold and the green and this, uh, it's called fire, homespun fire, what is that? Uh, wildfire, homespun wildfire in that pretty mottled orange color. So those are for the ponchos. And then this yarn here was on sale at a really good price and I wanted to make a navy and gray poncho and a black and gray poncho, more neutral colors. So I got some of that to do that. I got some more purple. And this is my favorite color of mine. I look pretty good in this color. This is one that flatters me, kind of a magenta color. So I got some of this to make me something. I don't know, a hat or a scarf or something. I haven't decided yet what. So I got me a lot of yarn. And what else I got was some pinking shears because I have a need for them and they were 30% off plus I had a 15% off your entire order coupon. So these are expensive and with those discounts uh, it really helped. So I, I bought a lot but I saved a lot of money too because I'll be using these and then I'll be selling my ponchos and hopefully you know I'll make enough money that will pay for the yarn and give me a little profit. So that will be great. It takes. I was thinking 12 to 15 hours for these. This one's taking me close to 20 to finish. So 20 hours. So, you know, it's a lot of time. But I do it when I'm sitting watching TV and all that. Speaking of which, I'm going to sit right down here. Turn the camera around. This is where I sit many times when I'm making my ponchos. I have a TV across from me. I'm just in a yarn lawn chair. <laughs> my husband's usually watching the other TV out in the other room. And I'll sit in here and watch TV with all my yarn. And I'll sit in this chair and I'll crochet away. So I'm going to take this minute to look at your comments. Oh, hi, Jacob and Corey just got home from school. Pajama bum, Mama, hello. I don't think I remember you being here before. Welcome. Do the best of what you have. Nope. Make do with what you have. Nope. Use what you got. Pretty close, but that's not 11 or 12 words, is it? Nope. Do the best of what you've got.
got. Use what you got. When you don't have what you need, you use what you have. That is really close. Not quite what I say, but it's really close. Use what you have. Use what you have. That would be sweet to have them in the live stream. Well, you got your wish. <laughs> they might take the chat away because uh, there's something about minors in the... Maybe I shouldn't even say it. It might trigger something. Okay. They like my dish. She got a good deal on hers, too. Yep. Okay, I think I read all the comments. If not, you can repeat them. How many moderators? I got Duncan. Brenda, are you the only moderator here? I'm so glad you're here. All right. Freckle face. Hello, freckle face. Peaceful inspirations. Love that magenta color. Yeah. I remember when I was like 12 years old, my mother made me, or not made me, she bought me a dress that was that color. And it was the first time I ever remember her telling me, that looks really good on you because I could wear that color. <laughs> so I always remember that and thought, I can wear magenta. <laughs> All right. Well, I don't think I'm going to stay on. Yeah, I'm in my woman cave, in my guest room with my lawn chair. <laughs> There's no room in here for an easy chair. I could move the bed around a little bit and maybe make room for a chair, but this is an extra high bed, and I've got my tubs of uh, yarns and fabric underneath the bed in these big bins, and if I push the bed against the wall, I can't get at them, so I kind of make do with it out in the middle of the floor, and it takes up too much room, but it's practical for getting at my crafts. Yeah. So glad to finally get you live. Rebecca, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. And Ellie, dear, always nice to see Ellie. You're in your woman cave. That's who said that. Okay. Quilt ornaments. I did see those. Very pretty. I know um, somebody else who makes those and actually sent me one. They're very cute. All righty. All right, I'm not going to keep you here. Uh... If you would like to hit the thumbs up, that helps my channel. Come back every Monday, 1 o'clock p.m. for my live stream. That's Eastern Standard Time. And I'll try and be here every Monday. If I'm not, I'll try and let you know why and when I will be on. Um, I'll see you next time. I'm preoccupied with Jeffrey being here, <laughs> so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get out there and be with, with him. Okay, who's that? Darlene, you have a wonderful day too. Bye everyone. Check out these videos that are going to pop up here in the replay. Bye-bye.